Hello to all my Capricorn viewers and subscribers. Welcome to your August love and romance reading. This particular reading is for anyone that's involved in a romantic relationship, whether this be a partnership, a friendship, a platonic relationship, a marriage, whatever it may be, this reading is for those particular circumstances. All right, I hope that July was a great prosperous month for you guys. And I hope that this month, August, will be as well. I have a feeling that things will be great for you guys. Let's go ahead and hop into your reading, okay, to see what's coming for you guys. All right, Spirit, what will be the overall energy for my Capricorn viewers and subscribers for the month of August and their relationships? In their relationship, their romantic relationship. Taking place for my Capricorns in the month of August. Love and romance. Romantic relationships. Capricorn, the first card that you have here is the freedom card. So this is all about being free. And so this to me is an indication that you're either in an open relationship or a relationship where um, the overall energy is very free. You may be breaking free from a certain situation or this could represent, you know, there being a, just a sense of freedom within your relationship overall positive energy um you, you may be involved with someone that is a very open-minded or you may be very open-minded and um see and sensing lots of positive energy with the freedom card but this also can be an indication that you're breaking free from a certain situation or circumstances here with the freedom card okay we have the knight of swords so with the knight of swords this is an indication to me that you're either involved with someone that is a air sign so we're looking at gemini libra or a aquarius lover here okay and this person may be ready to move forward um, this could represent forward movement within your relationship or this could be just their particular energy here this could also be your energy with the Knight of Swords, okay? But this, this to me is an indication that there may be some conflict, um, communication here that's going to be coming in, an important conversation, you needing to defend yourself or standing up for your rights here, or standing up for what you believe, or your partner. This could be your partner's energy here as well, all right? With the devil card right behind the knight of swords i definitely feel like that um <clears throat> this may there that there may be um either an, an addictive relationship that you're involved with that you're a part your partner may have um some sort of addiction this could be you or your significant other okay some some sort of addiction here or this could represent that your partner may be jealous or even deceptive here. Your, your partner may be moving or making choices and decisions that are very deceptive. Or your partner may have some ill intent. They may not be very true, truthful or honest with the devil card here. But I do have a feeling that for a lot of you Capricorns that your partner, you may be involved with a very jealous partner or someone this could even be someone from your past that's an air sign here this jealous that may be coming in because if you notice the knight of swords is 
pointed in the direction from the past. So this could be someone from your past that's an air sign, Gemini, Libra, again, an Aquarius. It's going to be trying to come in here with some sort of deceptions, lies, dishonesty, sneakiness, or some sort of some jealousy. Okay, so this could be someone that you're currently involved with or someone from your past, Capricorn. And this may be a relationship that ended, or this could be an indication that your partner, you and your partner, this particular air sign here, that there's going to be some sort of deception, dishonesty, or some sort of addiction that's going to cause an in a break, a need for a break, and into a relationship or cause some stagnation within the, in the relationship. There may be some issues that's going to, or, or, or some, some issues is going to create some stagnation here in the relationship. <clears throat> okay, so let's go ahead and get some clarification for your cards. Spirit, please give me some clarification for the Knight of Swords, the Devil card, and the Four of Wands reverse for my Capricorns who are currently involved in romantic relationships. definitely seeing that someone needs serious healing here and I feel like this is someone from your past or this could be you that's needing some healing here Capricorn okay definitely sensing that this may be someone from your past that is a uh, a um, an air sign here that's needing some healing but again, this could be you needing to go within. This could represent physical healing here. This could be an indication that someone may be going through some sort of major surgeries or medical issues with the healing in the, the Knight of Swords. All right. This could be physical or mental because with the air signs, it's all about mental. But someone needs some mental healing. And I feel like also physical and spiritual healing here. And again, that could be you or your partner with the schizophrenia here on the devil card. This is definitely an indication that um, someone either has some major addiction that's causing serious mood swings, confusion, distortion mentally. Okay, someone's dealing with someone that has serious issues here. And this again could be you Capricorn or this could represent your significant other that has a major problems because we got the schizophrenia card. So someone could be de dealing with uh, major fears or some sort of addiction, um, you know, controlling tendencies here. This, this almost pushing them to the edge. Okay. So I'm definitely sensing lots of issues internal issues with either someone that you're dealing with Capricorn or you may be going through some issues you know going through some issues within yourself and we have on top of the the um four of wands here we have the stress card so I definitely feel like this relationship here the ups and downs within this relationship is creating a lot of stress within your relationship stress within stress for you mental stress here okay and with the freedom card i'm definitely feeling that spirit is saying that you need to free a mind okay you need freedom here you need to take a break you need to um you need to allow yourself some time for meditation daily meditation you need to allow yourself some time to break free so that you can um, get yourself back together mentally and, and again, this could be your partner that needs this, or this could be you here with that particular card. Okay, let's go ahead and get some spiritual advice from Spirit in regards to the these cards here. Spirit, I'm going to give my some spiritual advice in regards to this particular energy and situation that's going to be taking place in the month of August. Here, I 
get some more spiritual advice from the Enchanted Maps deck. This is a new deck and I really like this deck too. It's really nice. is basically saying Capricorn that you need to focus on love look for the good attributes in each and every person in your life so spirit is saying even though you're going through some issues right now and you're ready to break free or there may be some friction or highs and lows within the relationship that may be causing stress between you and your significant partner your significant other that you need to focus on love and look at the good things that your partner you know brings to your relationship look at the good within the relationship because each and every person has good in them okay so spirit is definitely saying to just focus on on, um, the positivity here all right and with the second spiritual advice card you have ride the wave so spirit is saying that you need to in this particular situation to just um, ride the wave sometimes certain things need to you know time to phase out and this could be the issues within the relationship um, you know to just you know, don't be so quick to make a decision in regards to something. If you're feeling as though you need to make a decision, just ride the wave. Um, I feel like with the ride the wave, this represents that this too shall pass. So um, you just, you know, with time, I think that there will be change and that circumstances will um, get better as, as long as you focus on the positive, focus on love and allow whatever situation that has created this stress to phase out on its own. All right, Capricorn, so that is your reading for the month of August 2017. I will see you guys again mid-month for your mid-month reading. Stay blessed, stay well, and if you guys would like a private or a personal reading, click down in the description box below. My link will be there. Readings are on sale for a limited time, as well as my yoni eggs and my spiritual bath bars as well. I have new products, and I also offer spiritual services, love spells, um, recon reconciliation spells, whatever it is that you need, just email me. I'll have my email listed down below. Click the notification link, that, or not the link, but the button down below so that you guys will be notified for your readings. And click the like button if you enjoyed this reading. See you guys again. Ashay.